Hi everyone, how's everyone doing here today? And today I wanted to talk about bad leadership and stupidity, which unfortunately we've got a lot of uh, in this country. One of the more uh, recent examples was uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, um, the daughter and of Mike Huckabee, failed Republican presidential candidate, former governor of Arkansas, and uh, Trump's former press secretary, who now has recently signed into law an executive order that prohibits the use of woke, anti-woke words for official state government business, because that is just such a huge issue in Arkansas. The children must be absolutely devastated, but now I'm happy to hear that she's finally looking out for them. This is what happens when you elect stupid people who are unqualified into positions that they had no business running for to begin with. But something tells me, and I'm willing to bet, it was plenty of the MAGA crowd in Arkansas that saw is like, oh yeah, she's Trump's secretary, she can do a good job, she was so great, she can lead. Uh, as far as telling lies, uh, butting heads with the press and spreading uh, disinformation, and uh, oh, and when in doubt, just blaming the Democrats on everything, if that's what qualifies you to be a governor, well then, yeah, you could say she fits the bill, but she doesn't, okay? Some of the things uh, in this order is it instructs all state governments to replace inclusive terms with feminism ones. You know, supposedly woman has been turned into a dirty word. By whose standards? Okay, I hear the word all the time. I don't think it's word, uh, dirty. And, uh, you know, certain other words that should be excluded, like menstruating person, breastfeeding, rather than chest feeding, or birth mom. Are they actually using those words uh, in the schools in Arkansas? Because I seriously doubt that. You know. To, to them, it's, oh yeah, blame it on the left. Like I said, Democrats. I could go on and on, but you see the point. And truth be told that this has nothing to do with policy. It has nothing to do with any type of care for children, not even education, okay? It is just a bunch of bigotry. And just another excuse to say, like, well, I'm accomplishing things because I'm anti-woke, which means nothing. The woke, that has become the loose term to throw at to something that you simply don't like. Specifically in this case, transgender and LGBTQs, and just learning to accept people. And just like her father, she likes to use the Bible as a prop to say, look, I'm a person of God, I am driven by my faith and everything. Really? Because I don't think uh, Jesus would, find, would be considered woke according to your standards. Get the heck out of here, alright? She's a lying hypocrite just like a father and an absolute degenerate, and she's got no business being governor. But like I said, Arkansas, you managed to shoot your foot in this one. Here's some interesting things that you should know. Uh, she did have uh, decent approval ratings upon starting, but since then, uh, polls have shown that she only has about a 40% approval rating and 31% disapprove of the job that she's doing. No big surprise there. Uh, according to the U.S. News and World Report, Arkansas is ranking 44 out of 50 as far as the states go. Education ranks near the bottom. It's about in 39th place. Uh, I think it's um, Mississippi and Louisiana that are doing worse. Still, it's pretty low. They're in last place for health care. Crime is, they rank about 48. Infrastructure, 45. And they have the highest in child poverty. Tell me, does this uh, anti-woke bill, does it help feed the children in poverty. And recently, as you probably heard, she's been caught up in a scandal where she spent a considerable amount of money on a lectern, $19,000 to be exact. It must be made out of gold or titanium. I'm really not trying to make jokes of this because this is serious. Because with that money, you could have used it to feed some children and just bought a decent $2,000 lectern like most people do. Some of them are even cheaper. It's no big deal. And this isn't just about her, she is what she is. Like I said, she's a far right, you know, part of the mega bunch, a degenerate and a lowlife, who deep down really does not care about people, doesn't care about family values, is not really the religious person in spite of some of the things she says. And overall, Arkansas could not have made a worse choice for a uh, governor. And I, I'm not 100% sure how her father did, but seeing some of the things that he's said and done in the past, uh, I can't see things were much better uh, when he was in charge of government, but... And it's, like I said, it's not just about her. It's like, look at Ron DeSantis, also in Florida, with a lot of his anti woke and stuff like that. It is just bad leadership, and Florida is not doing so well as a result of it. 
Look at uh, Jim Jordan, who just uh, was now a three-time loser for uh, Speaker of the House. He didn't win that. And from what I hear, he's in 14 years, he has not signed off on a bill that has gotten passed. Not once. Gee, maybe I should be in that job. You know, I can just not pass any bills and somehow get paid a good amount of money. I have no doubt that these people make more money than I do. But why are they getting these jobs? Because they are no more qualified than I am, okay? Again, uh, press secretary doesn't suddenly mean you have what it takes to be, have leadership skills, to govern in a state, any state for that matter. It's not just Arkansas. I have to believe that in the 14 years, Ohio, the people there, had some opportunity to vote Jim Jordan out. So why didn't they do so? Not just Arkansas, but why do you people continuously elect people or allow people to stay that aren't doing the right thing by the state that they're in, let alone the country on a whole? Okay? I could keep going on. I could give you more examples, and a lot of them fall under the whole MAGA crowd because it is a cult following that is not designed to help people. These aren't patriots, they are degenerates. They are not there to help the American people, they're only there to cater to one person. And Sarah Huckabee Sanders falls right into that, into that category. Okay? When are you people going to learn? When are you sister going to learn and start doing the right thing? Uh, I don't think she's up for re-election in November. I think she's got another two years uh, to go. Hopefully she won't make too many other mistakes. Or maybe this uh, election scandal will catch up to her. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. But I don't see her getting any better. I don't see her doing anything else. I think she's just going to continue to pay, pass bigoted, bigoted uh, laws that are designed to go after marginalized communities. Okay? She is not a woman for the people. She never was. Okay? Why some of you choose to learn the hard way, it boggles my mind. And I could go on, again, give more and more examples. It just... Why you people keep uh, allowing this to happen? <sighs> Get out and vote. Start looking at the candidates. I'd say vote blue, but that's going to be like a turnoff to some of you. I know the MAGA bunch isn't going to listen, but those on the fence, those in between, younger voters, you have the opportunity to make a difference. Not just in November, but also in the upcoming gubernatorial races in your states and also most importantly in 2024. If Trump's legal woes don't catch up with them, you can bet he's going to do terrible things if he achieves the president again. Okay? As for you, Sarah, go to hell. Alright? Because I don't think you're going anyplace else since you're such a woman of faith. Give me a break. Anyway, hopefully uh, the people in Arkansas will learn. You know, and I'm trying to be sympathetic here. I really am. I don't live in this state. It doesn't affect me. But, you know, I'd like to see things approve there as well as other states, even red states that aren't doing so well. So, I care about people. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really hope you understand.